Hi, we're building a mash pedal today, and uh, we'll see what's happening with this. I'll show you the designs and show you what the progress is on the, the portion of things as it happens, and uh, we'll get right to it. Here's the first design that I came up with, and it's um, I just drew it on paper, and the whole the my mash tun is not really all that large, so the whole length of it is going to be about 24 inches long. And this is the business end, if you want to think about it that way. This is the business end of the mash paddle. And each hole is represented by, that's, I'm going to use a one inch spade bit just to cut those out. And I just kind of drew it freehand. Now what I did was I took that drawing and I put it into my printer scanner copier thing. And I hit 198% enlargement. And the drawing that I got was not really precise. But the concept was proven right, and, it, and on the piece of wood that I'm going to use, it's right about the right, right width. So what I did was, I did it again, but instead of just freehanding it, I used like rulers and little curves and things like that. So this is the, the updated version of it. It's the same length, and the, the general uh, dimensions are the same, except the... Uh, now each crosshair, the reference line, each crosshair is where I'm going to put the spade bit and because the spade bit's going to be the same it'll be just fine. Now I enlarge that and I get this. You know, which works out pretty well. Now if we go over to here to the piece of pot, piece of uh, maple that I bought at my local home center, I'll put this on it and it's about right, just about right as far as on the on the uh, piece of wood so just about the right side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out leave the reference lines on and tape it to the piece of wood and then I'm going to use a jigsaw cut it out and then use the spade bit and do it like that and we'll be back okay the template has been cut out and as you can see I have taped it to the piece of maple that I'm going to use this is maple actually my home center had a choice between uh, red oak this maple and um, one other that I can't remember. Uh, I'll remember it in a minute. But uh, yeah, now I just need to cut it out. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put little right here where all these cross hashes are. That's where I'm going to put. I'm going to make a small hole in each one of these, so I can use that as a guide for my uh, my spade bit when I cut the holes out. And then I'm going to router it all, and we'll check in a little later. All right. Here I've got the template drawn on it. And the hole's cut, the speed bit. And I just need to take off the uh, intervening material with a jigsaw. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. <laughs> Sorry, I had, had to goof a little bit. It's roughed out, okay? And uh, now all I need to do is clean it up, round it up, sand it up. Little, little uh, problem, but I left a little bit of extra material around the edges so I can go to the lines but I think it'll turn out kind of nice all right see you in a bit da -da, da -da, da -da -da. yes after a little bit of sanding well actually a little bit of sanding a little bit of routing it's actually starting to look like, like a mash paddle I think a little bit more sanding to do and I think we'll be fine smooth up all the edges not a bad thing for my first attempt. All in all. All in all, not bad, I don't think. Alright, and there is the finished mash paddle. Sanded. See if we can get a better look at this. Sanded, rounded. I haven't cleaned it. I'm debating whether to tongue oil it or anything like that. Some kind of like block oil or something. I don't know if that's going to mess up the beer. I'll have to think about you know look on some forums and stuff but hey there it is the finished mash paddle not bad for my first attempt I don't think total cost oh fourteen dollars and I used maybe a third of the board so do the math alright happy brewing prost